nice and clean. Oh my gosh. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Today is Friday. There hasn't been too much going on this week. I've just been editing all that stuff from Montana, so it didn't make for great vlog footage. But I'm here today at Discount Guns and Ammo, one of my favorite ranges in northern Utah. Uh, I'm gonna be filming a video. I just finished filming this week's main video on the top three best 1911s under $1,000. Let me know what you guys think of kind of the style of the video because I shot this one on this vlog camera rather than setting up my big cameras and stuff because I forgot to bring them. <laughs> but I wanted to know, you know, if you guys kind of dig this more informal style for the main videos or if you think I should stay with the more formal style. Yeah. Yeah, thanks so much, man. Well, oh, actually, have you guys seen these? These new Cobalt ARs? I know nothing about them. Apparently, they're built in uh, St. George, Utah. You guys know how much I love supporting Utah brands. Anyways, if you guys want to see a review on this, hit that thumbs up button. Kyle's playing with this box over here. Dude, this box. Yo. I mean, you could like see papers and stuff under there. It's like, oh, dude. Boom, dude. Now you gotta reshoot an entire video. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Look at that. You guys remember in the last video, last time I unboxed this, I said, there's no instructions, there's no nothing, there's three holsters, there's more stuff. What, what, what all is in here, man? Dude. So check out all these dual clips. Single clips, comes with an actual screwdriver. Man, pretty legit. Good job, Kyle. <laughs> Tonic. What do you keep keeping? Limes. Oh. You're gonna have to reshoot that, dude. Side, side of the card. Limes. Tonic. <laughs> I'm just curious what you think. Here's to passion projects, finding your passion and, and pursuing it. I like that. Falling home this year. <laughs> oh. Hope you didn't get that on camera. We're gonna go see the piggy. <laughs> Those are cute trees. <laughs> 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 Mega, what do you think of the piggy? He's so cute. <laughs> I thought we'd end this vlog with a quick question and answer video. Um, and a couple vlogs ago, I asked you to submit some questions and then I just kind of make a, a list of them and when it worked with the vlog, I'd answer them. So we're just gonna go through three or four right now. First question comes from Jared Davis. He says, uh, maybe sometime you can showcase some of the guns you own and the mods you've made to them. Now I've done this in a past video, um, but it was a while ago, so I'll just do a quick refresher. I really haven't done a whole lot of mods to them, but uh, yeah, so first gun I ever got, Remington R1 1911, Nathan Drake, like one of my idols from the Uncharted video games, carries one very similar to this, though I think he carries a Colt, but it's uh, it's the same style, so that was my first gun. The second gun I ever got was for Trisha, which is the Ruger SR22, a uh, little semi-auto handgun which shoots 22 LR. This was for her to learn on because she didn't like shooting that 45. It does have trouble cycling from time to time, but other than that, um, it's a great gun, really easy to shoot, really comfortable, just a good form factor, especially for Trisha's hand. Next, me 
and Trisha each got our concealed carry permits and we wanted guns to carry. So the gun I picked up was the Springfield XDS in 45. All I knew was 45, like I said, because I got that 1911. 3.3 uh, inch barrel, all polymer. I, I got used to carrying with it. So uh, I liked it for a while. Recently I've changed. If you've seen the recent videos, you know why. Trisha's concealed carry is the Six Hour P238 with the pearl hand grips. It's got some pretty engraving on the top and the sides. I don't know if you can see that or not. All right, there you go. Now you can kind of see it. There's some pretty engravings on the side. So yeah, this is Trisha's concealed carry gun. Awesome, awesome gun. Shoots a 380 ACP. Comes stock with night sights. Built on the 1911 platform. It's a great gun for the range because most concealed carry guns are hard to shoot at the range. They're too snappy, whatever. Um, this one's still really good at the range. You know, it's it's a 380 and it's a, a decently heavy gun. Uh, good trigger, so you can practice some good accuracy drills with it. This extended mag can really let you get your whole hand on there. Uh, overall, a fantastic gun. And then my baby, the Smith & Wesson M&P 9 Pro Series. If you've seen the recent videos, you know how much I love this gun. I think this is one of the best guns out there in its class. Um, it came stock with night sights, so I took off the night sights, threw on some blacked out rear sights and a bright green fiber optic front sight. That's because I was mainly shooting outside at USPSA competition stuff. And when the sun hits this thing, it just blows up. I love that. Um, I got the, the grip custom stippled, if you saw that video. Um, I really, really do like that grippling, especially these finger grooves on the front. I, I just dig that. Um, the trigger is honestly really, really good on the Pro Series, so um, I don't know if I'll continue to upgrade this thing or not, but uh, this is certainly my workhorse of a gun. This is the gun I love shooting at the range. And then finally in the handguns is my newest one, the Glock 19. Uh, just a great overall gun. This thing is bone stock. I just got it like last week. I haven't done a single thing to it. Um, I don't know if I want to do anything to it, to be honest, because you hear so much about like concealed carries. If you ever actually have to use it, the modifications you make could be used against you like in court so I don't really know if I'll ever upgrade it if I do upgrade it I might put on just like some night sights uh, adjust the trigger a little bit I'm very very happy with this gun if anything I might make some like aesthetic changes maybe get like an OD frame or something like that um, but yeah Glock 19. This is my new concealed carry, if you didn't know, by the way. I really, really like carrying this, especially with that new holster. It's really comfortable. I feel good having 15 rounds with me and an extra mag of 15 rounds. This thing is, I mean, it's, it, you know, super reliable, the Glock name. Uh, so yeah, overall, fantastic gun. And then finally, the only long gun that I actually own is the Mossberg 500 pump 12 gauge shotgun. I got that uh, ATI Talon T2 tactical stock on there. So adjustable stock there, comes with the, the padded crisp pistol grip, and then I've got a sling on here. I really love this gun. The whole reason I got it was kind of as a project gun. Throughout the years, I plan on just upgrading and upgrading and upgrading this thing until it's just an absolute beast and it has every upgrade I can possibly do to it. Next question comes from Brian Jackson Sr. This dude comments on everything. He really participates, send me emails. So big shout out to you, dude. I really, really do appreciate all the support you show me. He said, I think it'd be cool if you gave your take on the Mossberg 12 gauge pump shotgun. I don't think he reviewed this firearm yet. Um, so that was the gun I just showed, that Mossberg 12 gauge. I love that thing. Uh, I might do an actual review on it in the future, but what I think I'm gonna do is release a new video, like a top three best first shotguns or something. And uh, it'll definitely include that Mossberg 500 in there. There are so many accessories for it. So you can really build it up to exactly what you want. I will say the first weekend I ever had it, I took it up trap shooting for my bachelor party and I couldn't hit a thing. I couldn't hit anything with it. Probably not the greatest for skeet shooting. Next question comes from Jack Thorne. He sent me an email. He says, what content do you subscribe to? I love your content. I just want to see more of what space there is a lot of bad stuff out there. Um, so I actually don't subscribe to a lot of other gun channels. Um, a lot of other gun channels are just kind of that big ego right wing style, that real hard politics driven thing. And you guys just know not, that's not what, I, what I'm about and what this channel's about. So I will tell you what I do subscribe to. Number one, I subscribe to Casey Neistat. He's just a fantastic vlogger a great filmmaker. Uh, I draw a lot of inspiration, obviously, from his vlogs. I subscribe to T. Martin. He's a, a video game guy, does a lot of Call of Duty videos, and then kind of plays through other videos. You can just watch him, and I don't know, it's really entertaining. It's a blast. And then a couple filmmaking channels, like Devin Supertramp, Scott Wynn, Exploring Filmmaker, stuff like that. Uh, you guys know I'm a big filmmaker, so. But yeah, I totally feel you, Jack. Like in terms of other gun channels and stuff, it's hard because there's there's some people with like really big egos out there and it's, it's just hard to kind of watch some of those videos. So that's why I don't really watch a ton of them. I will tell you a dude who subscribed to me for a long time. His name is Jarhead6. He showed me a lot of support. I try to show him a lot of support. He's got a good channel. Make sure to go subscribe to him. Um, but other than that, like in the gun realm world, I pretty much steer clear of it, to be honest. 
that's all I've got for you this week. Uh, stay tuned for this Friday. We're doing the actual review video on that Black Arch holster. And then, uh, you know, main videos every Friday, vlogs every Monday. Bye.